feel very good about how things went today. Thank you very much. When the judge said she saw a lot of quid but not a lot of quo, what did you think about that? You know, I think that's exactly uh, right on the quo side. There was no quo in this case. Governor McDonald never did anything for Johnny Williams, which is why Johnny Williams got nothing. Thanks very much. What about the stand-up, sit-down policy of the judge? I just want to, all I want to do is thank uh, Noel Francisco and the uh, Jones Day and Holland and Knight team for being uh, tremendous advocates and making uh, multiple points that were uh, very important uh, for us. I appreciate especially the uh, 10 groups of uh, amicus parties, Republican and Democrat leaders from around the country who have joined us in these legal arguments uh, to say what I've said for two years, and that is that uh, there's nothing uh, that has been done here that's violated the law. I know that in my heart and in my soul. And I thank uh, the team here for their zealous advocacy today, the probing question of the judges, and continue to trust in the uh, greatness of the American justice system and uh, in the Lord for uh, vindication. Thank you. Governor, what have you been up to? What have you been doing the last few months? Working, playing with my family, Where are you going to graduations all weekends. So I've been at Duke and Van Vanderbilt this weekend. And my last two uh, children uh, got the uh, master's degrees. and. Uh, the Lord has provided an immense uh, blessing for me in learning a lot about life, what's important in life, uh, about uh, friendships that have been sustained now for many years through uh, thick and thin, about uh, the eternal and not the uh, temporal, and uh, about just enjoying time with my family. I'm doing some consulting down in Virginia Beach. We just moved back there, uh, enjoying uh, time with my family. For what, what do you want to say about the jury instructions? They were wrong. Well, I think 31 governors signed a brief and said that this is uh, a jury instruction and a, uh, and a theory of the law that is unprecedented. And as Mr. Francisco said at the beginning, would uh, make every elected official in the country uh, a potential target for federal prosecutors because these are routine courtesies that every governor, every elected official, when you have every White House counsel from President Reagan to President Obama, former counsel, saying that this is grossly wrong under the law, I think that says a lot. No, Governor, you just said they were wrong. Just real quick, clarify that. Did, did you all argue enough at trial to get your side of the jury instructions in there? They were suggesting that you knew what was going on from the start. No. I think, I think those points were made pretty well. I think, of course, we think the trial court made some serious multiple errors. And I think Mr. Francisco argued that today. I'll, I'll just quickly answer that. The jury instructions the judge gave were wrong. The instructions that we gave were right. Either one of those reasons is enough to reverse this conviction, and we're confident that that's what's going to happen. Any concern Thank that you all three much. judges were appointed by Democrats? Is that a worry at all? I think this is, is a fair and impartial tribunal, and we expect a fair and impartial ruling. Thank you. Former Virginia Governor Bob McDonnell and his legal team outside the courthouse in Richmond, where their appeal is very much under consideration. You heard the governor and his team saying they believe his conviction and Maureen McDonnell's conviction on uh, influence uh, uh, on, on corruption charges was unfair. They seem to be optimistic they will fare better on appeal.